Complete training is available on itdvds.com. Now let's begin the movie. Now that our ESX installation is complete, we're going to do almost all of our administration of our ESX server and our virtual center server with the virtual infrastructure client. So the first thing we're going to need to do is download and install that client. To do that, we can just open up a web browser and type in the IP address of your ESX server. Mine's 192.168.6.61. From here you can download the VMware infrastructure client, which is what we want to do. You can also download the quick start guide if you'd like. I'm going to click on download the infrastructure client. And I'm just going to run it from here. If you'd like, you could save it to a share, for example, so other people can install it from the share. I'll click run to launch the installer. And this brings up the virtual infrastructure client splash screen. I'll just click next. I'll accept the terms in the license agreement. Click next. Enter in your username and organization. Click next. Here you can specify where you'd like the installation files to be put. I'm just going to keep it at the default and click next. And click install. And the installation just takes a second. The installation is complete, so I'll click Finish, and I'll just close the web browser. You can see that there's now a shortcut on my desktop for the VMware infrastructure client, and I'll just double click on it to launch it. You can also launch it from the start menu if you'd like. And in the next movie, we'll take a look at connecting to our ESX server.